All right, hello everyone. Sun's just coming up out here in Colorado. I received this word, um, I think not last night, the night before, pretty early in the morning. I'm still trying to adjust my sleep schedule after coming back from Pennsylvania. And a really nice thing was my um, dad called me yesterday. He hasn't been calling anyone really. And he actually thanked me for uh, all the work that I had helped with um, with my brother when I was there and taking care of him. So that was pretty amazing. And he's trying to rehabilitate. Um, again, I appreciate everyone's thoughts and prayers to keep praying for him. Um, the fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. So hopefully he'll come to know the Lord and... Uh, you know, who knows, maybe he'll, he has a prosthetic leg, um, maybe he'll start getting around and getting out a little bit. It's pretty amazing. They took him off all the, or so many of the drugs he was on and pharmaceuticals, and it's kind of ironic how he's improved. He, he seems like he's doing better, that's for sure. So anyway, enough of that. Here's the word I got. It is written, and so you have heard, it is impossible to please your Lord without faith. It is also written that faith comes through hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So if I have given you my word, and you choose not to read and study and seek understanding, and seek the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul, how then do you find truth? Too many place their salvation in the hands of man. Again, I say, if faith comes through hearing and hearing by the word, yet it is impossible, impossible to please your Lord, yet ye have faith. How then do you please your Lord? For in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The only way to the father is, is through the son and is the son, not the word. Seek the Son, be filled with the Spirit, and the Son shall present you cleansed before the Father. For this is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way, and there is none other. For I am that I am, and I am the Sovereign Lord. Do you see, have you sought truth, or do you place your trust in the worldly and the foolish arrogance of the worldly wise? For it is in their wisdom they became fools." Who do you place your trust in, the world or the Lord? For the Lord is all-knowing, and again, I say there is none other, for I am the Lord of all, and it is with my righteous hand that I giveth and taketh away. I am the Lord Almighty, and my children shall soon sit at my table and share in my glory, for my children see with eyes to see, for in their seeking they have been given sight and in their hearing, their faith increase, increaseth, and therefore they please their Lord. Do you see? Do you hear? Or are you as those with little faith, scared, fearful? For the Lord gives us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Let not your hearts be troubled, but trust in the Lord thy God. Seek him, study his word, and you shall receive his spirit and you shall be made new. All right, everyone. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.